In this video, we'll talk about the uh, value property that a tree control has. So, uh, if you look in the uh, builder in the UX component, you see that the uh, tree control is uh, in the section of uh, data control. So, that means that the tree control, even though it looks completely different, say, than an input control, than a text box control, uh, it behaves like a text box control in the sense that it has a get value and set value property. So you can see here we have a tree control. This tree control is bound to a variable. So uh, the variable name is called tree. And um, that means that when you submit the uh, uh, UX component, uh, there's going to be a value for tree. Uh, you can set a default value for the control. Uh, and so just like any, any other control, uh, any other data control, the tree control has a get value and set value property. So you can see here that when I go here to this button, get value, what we're going to execute is this code. We're going to do a get value of the tree and then alert it. And then when we execute this button over here, we're going to do a, um, a set value of the tree to whatever value is inside uh, this uh, val property over here. So now, the, what is the value uh, of, uh, of the tree? Well, that's determined by where uh, in the tree you are currently um, focused. So for example, if I go now to this tree and then click on alpha and then say get value, then the value says alpha. If I go there and say beta, then the value says beta. If I go back to the tree here and set a default value, so let's go here and set a default value of uh, beta and then when I go now and I run the tree we can see that uh, beta is um, currently selected. So now what happens is um, when you uh, open the tree and you navigate to a child uh, item over here, uh, if I now go and press get value, the value is alpha and then a pipe character and then alpha 1. So that's the full path down to that value. Now the pipe character is there because we've specified that the value separator is a pipe. Now the value separator is only used if you don't specify an explicit value for this node on the tree. So now I'm going to go back to my tree definition here and go over there and you can see that value wasn't specified. So I'm going to go now and type in some uh, new value. So I'll just type in value alpha 1. So now we're specifying an explicit value for this node on the tree. So now when we go back to working preview and I navigate to alpha 1 and then do get value, I no longer see the implied value but I see the explicit value. But if I go to alpha 2 which doesn't have an explicit value, uh, here I'm going to basically see the implied value uh, which is um, constructed. So uh, the next thing that I'd like to point out is that while it's possible to define um, event handlers at the individual uh, node levels in the tree. So you can see here I can define an on-click event, etc. You can also define um, event handlers at the tree level. So now I'm going to go back here to properties and let's go now to uh, the tree JavaScript and go here to the on node click event and I'm going to uncomment that. And um, then I'm going to just simply say uh, node value plus this dot value. So what we're going to do is every time we click anywhere in the tree we're going to do an alert with the value of the current node. So now here we go and I click on alpha and you can see there's um, the node value and then it says alpha. I expand that, click over there and now I'm seeing node value and then the explicit value that we defined. So uh, you can define an event handler at the tree level or at the individual node level. So if I defined an on-click at the node level, it would override the event handler at the tree level. So uh, now uh, what we've seen here is that um, the tree control is just like any other data control. It can be used to uh, get and uh, set values uh, and um, it behaves just like other controls in the sense that when you submit the dialog, the value of the tree will be submitted. Uh, thanks very much for watching.